Welcome to WatchGuard Blog's first video log. I'm Corey, and today I'm going to show you how you can hack with your iPhone. Now, a lot of you may have heard about how a tool called Metasploit can be used to hack a first generation iPhone. But what you may not know is that the same tool can be loaded onto an iPhone and used to hack a Windows XP PC. Now, in order to do this, I've had to jailbreak my iPhone using a tool called Ponage. This allows me to load non-sanctioned Apple applications onto my iPhone. Once I've done that and loaded Metasploit, I can now use this iPhone to hack a Windows PC. Here's how. So here we see the soon-to-be victim XP machine. And I'd like to draw your attention to this password file, which is full of passwords. Now let's check out the iPhone. I'm going to run the terminal application. This is just like the command line you'd find on any Linux system. Next, using preset commands, I'm going to run the Metasploit console and enter my password, which I'm blurring out. Once Metasploit runs, I need to load an exploit. In this case, I'm going to load the Microsoft Net API exploit. This exploit takes advantage of an old flaw in Windows networking to gain control of a computer. Next, I load a payload. This tells Metasploit what to do once it hijacks a computer. In this case, I'm loading a reverse shell, which means the victim computer is going to connect back to my iPhone and send me a command prompt. Now I need to set a local host for this exploit. Uh, the local host is the IP address of my iPhone, which is this particular IP. After that, I need to set the remote host or the victim's IP address. I don't remember what that is, so let's go back to the victim computer and run ipconfig. And there's the IP address, 192.168.39.224. So I enter that into Metasploit. Once I've done all this, Metasploit is ready to exploit this vulnerability. I just need to type exploit and press enter. The first thing Metasploit does is set up a reverse handler. This just causes my iPhone to listen on a port so that it can accept the command shell from the victim computer. Here it is exploiting the, the vulnerable function. And finally, there we see it has a command shell and has put it on session one. So let me turn my iPhone and I'm going to use the sessions command to interact with session one. And there you have it. We have a standard Windows XP command prompt. We now have control of this actual victim machine. So I'm going to start by using the dir command to list the desktop directory. And there you go. You can see the passwords.txt file I showed you on the desktop. If I actually use this type command, I can read the contents of that passwords file. And there's all the passwords I showed you earlier. Finally, if I'm feeling really mean, I can actually use the delete command and I can delete this password file. Okay, now pay attention to the victim machine in the background when I press enter. The password file just disappeared. Now just for fun, I'm going to do one last command. Using the echo command, I can create a file called woot.txt and put a little message in it. Now let's go to the victim machine. Since my command prompt was in Windows System 32, I can go to Start, Run, and look for woot.txt in Windows-System32. And there's my message. My iPhone had complete control of this Windows XP machine. So as you can see, once you have Metasploit loaded on your iPhone, it works just as well as it does on any other PC. That means attackers can use their iPhones to launch hundreds of attacks against multiple types of targets. So what's the takeaway? Well, mobile devices like the iPhone are sometimes a lot more powerful and dangerous than they might at first seem. Next time you have a guest trying to use your wireless access with his iPhone, you might want to remember this video. Thanks for watching. Oh.